to accept that we can change 100%. The persistence is the key for me. The persistence of always, always trying to change. Well, what you're, you're really talking about is the core habit that makes people successful. And that is it. It's, I would say it's hunger first, because hunger will give you persistence without effort. You know, clearly, mm -hmm. Jay, you have a hunger. Anybody that I've met who's successful at what they do, they're hungry to be more, to do more, to give more, to shape more. They won't settle for how things are. They've got to make it better. And when you have that hunger, I don't care if it's, you know, be, you know, with somebody like Mark Benioff, my dear friend from Salesforce, or whether it's Richard Branson. I mean, Richard Branson is as hungry today as when he was 16 years old and he's, you know, it's late 60s. Mm. So it's like that hunger will make you persist. But if you don't have something to hunger to serve more than yourself, it's hard to sustain that hunger. And the other thing I tell people is, you know, you got to do what you're doing, which is feed your mind. And it's what your viewers are doing right now. It's like you bring them a variety of people and it's giving you another perspective. And you may agree with or disagree with it, but it's great to have another perspective. That's how we grow. But I also tell people one more thing. It's not just feeling good or like I hear people say all the time, I'm just not ready, you know, start the business. Or I'm not ready for that relation. I'm not ready for this. I'm, you're never ready. You know, it's like if I, if I don't feel like I'm ready, I don't give a shit how you feel, right? If you want to really change your life, develop a new habit, which is I don't give a shit how I feel. I'm doing it anyway, mm -hmm. because if, if you do it enough, you'll feel it. The people's like, oh, you know, I'll believe it when I see it. No, <laughs> you know, when you do it long enough, you'll see it and you'll believe it. It's like, you got to get yourself in action. There is no replacement for massive action mm -hmm. other than precision. Like once you take massive action, seeing what's working and refining it, but massive action is the cure all. You want to deal with your fear, massive action. But the problem is today people are cooped up, they're locked in place and they feel like they have no freedom, no choice, no anything. And so lots of people, unfortunately, are just vegging out. We're seeing drug use go through the roof. We're seeing people, you know, living on Netflix and ordering from Amazon. And it's like nothing wrong with all those things, but it's not going to make you happy. Mm -hmm. Only two things are going to make you happy. I'll give you one word, progress. Yeah. Progress makes you happy. You got to grow and you got to give. There's no way around those two things. But waiting, you know, feeding your mind is the strategy you're doing, which is really great. And developing a habit of persistence absolutely works. But you got to persist whether you feel like it or not. Yeah. And that's developing a different habit. It's like, I'm going to do this no matter what. And I'm going to learn. I'm not going to wait till I'm perfect. I'm going to do it. And I'm going to iterate. And so I think people today, they just, they need more input. And it's, I'm, it's beautiful that in the middle of a place like COVID, it's why I'm doing this, why I'm doing my challenge. It's like, we need to help people where they are. And what's going to help people is new perspectives produce new emotions, produce new actions, produce new habits or persistence. But you also got to find what is it I want to serve beyond myself? Because if it's just about you, like feeding a billion people, you know, I'm already 700 million. Now I'm working on feeding a billion people sustainably around the world and doing an X prize for it. But it's like, it just excites you. The, you know, I always say people, people aren't lazy. They just have infinite goals, goals that don't inspire them. They don't move them. And the goals that won't inspire you really, you're only so inspired for yourself. But if you want to do something like, you know, provide a home for your mom, you know, or get a car for your dad or help your kid do whatever or help your local community do something. There's something amazing about the human spirit that says we'll do more for others we love or we care for than we'll ever do for ourselves. Doing for yourself only gives you so much energy. Doing for others will ignite you. And I know you know what I'm talking about or you wouldn't be doing what you're doing as well.